I'm going to show out-of-state investors like you how you can buy properties like this with equity. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I'm your host, James Wise. You're watching Holton Wise TV. And this is the show we work together, guys. You, me, my team, right? We try to make it happen here for you guys, right? Buy properties, build, grow, start your real estate portfolios, okay? And the man of the hour, the man I'm working with is my guy, Aaron. Aaron, you're an investor in Utah. Uh, you've been through the gambit, right? You had a couple uh, investments out there on the West Coast that uh, did not do well. The West, West, well, more West, right? I guess you're not on the coast, but you get what I'm saying. You're West of Cleveland, brother. Uh, you've, you've had some rentals in the past, and uh, COVID messed you all up there, right? So you're looking to get out here in the Midwest, give it a go again, and you're looking to do a few things, right? Uh, we talked about some flips, uh, some flip opportunities, uh, talked about possibly doing some type of burr deals, and then another strategy I coined, which is uh, the slow motion burr, right? Where that's essentially like you're trying to do a burr, uh, but you don't have to like do the rehab of, uh, right up front, guys. You could do it down the road because you already got a tenant in there. And this is uh, sort of to that vein, right? I'm doing two more videos for you, right? I'm going to do this one, then I'm going to do another one. The other one is a very traditional slow motion type burr, right? We definitely need to do a rehab there, but we could wait a little bit. This one's slightly different. This one's all about buying with equity, and I thought it would be important for you to see this one, right? Because it's it's similar to th to the slow motion burr, except for you really don't have to rehab this. So if I were you, I'd probably just go in, try to pick it up super cheap so you have low money into the deal just based on the fact that you're you're getting equity when you buy and you're utilizing uh, the same strategy of having the super low uh, rent tenant be the thing that helps you get the property really cheap, right? 5506 Dalewood, Maple Heights. It's been on the market for a while, 118 days. It went on the market, went off the market. I guess there's some buyer and he was trying to wholesale it or something. And I don't know, the listing agent uh, was a little vague, but more or less, here's the deal. We got the house. It's available. It's priced at $64.9, which is actually a pretty cheap price for the neighborhood, right? And here's the thing. The house is nice. It's got a tenant in there, and it's got newer mechanicals, right? Now, you know, there's a lot of stuff on the walls. I get that, but, like, cosmetically, if you look at it, right, you, like, you got a, a newer floor in here. You got the countertops and cabinetry that's nice. Uh, you know, you really just, when this tenant eventually moves out, all you're really doing is probably repainting, okay? Like, you got to take care of stuff like that, but it's really just, like, repainting and maybe getting rid of that carpet, right? You're not really replacing or doing all that much, right? You already got the new electrical, okay? We already have a uh, newer furnace. They said the hot water tank was newer as well. Hard to tell from that picture, but that's what the listing agent said. Said all these items are newer, right? So it looks like we got the big ticket items, the mechanicals, all within the last five years. Now, here's a, here's the scenario. That tenant, okay, they're only paying $800 a month, right? So we have an $800 a month tenant. That's $9,600 a year. $9,600 a year comes in. I anticipate you spending approximately $6,675 of that on your expenses and one of the major expenses here is the tax rate the taxes are huge out in maple heights right super high taxes but that leave you with approximately 2925 now here's the deal neighborhood like this this neighborhood is going to see a mixture of investor buyers like you and it's also going to see owner occupied buyers now the price of this house is getting beat way down because it's tenant occupied. Why? Because half the buyers, right, they're owner occupied buyers. They can't buy this house because there's a tenant living there. So they're no longer interested. That beats the price down. And then that gets to the investors, guys like you. Price gets beaten down even further because the tenant's only paying $800 a month and the numbers don't look great at $800 a month because of those high taxes. But here is what I know. That now you know. This is actually a thousand dollar a month rental, dude. I would, you know, this would be renting for a thousand bucks a month if we placed a tenant here. If we had it rent ready, we placed a tenant. That's a thousand bucks, easy. If not eleven hundred. In addition to that, brother, what you also need to understand is price point wise. If I had a thousand or eleven hundred dollar tenant in there, I'm selling this thing for seventy five k without a doubt. Okay, so 
That means if you could pick it up in the 60s, you're getting it with equity. I think since owner-occupied folks are not interested, investors not going to be attracted to it because the numbers don't look good because the rent's artificially low and the taxes are pretty damn high in Maple. I think we could try to pick it up at 60K. If we pick it up at 60K, I would go ahead and just do a loan up front. I don't think you need to try to burr it out later. It doesn't make sense, right? So if you do the loan up front, you only need to put down 15. Bank gives you 45 right off the rip. And this is why the numbers are beaten down, because the cash on cash only shows out as a 4.4%, and the cap rate only shows at a 1.1%. But you and I both know the property is really a $75,000 property with a market rent of 1000 to 1.1, right? But here's the thing. This is the other thing why I think it makes sense for you to just buy it with the mortgage up front. I could turn around if I had the tenant. If we got the same tenant that's in there right now up to market rate, and you said, yo, sell me this property. I don't want to be the owner, or I want to just sell it. Boom. I turn around and sell it for like 75 k No problem, right? No issue. Hey, lenders. Are you looking for more clients? If so, send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. But the reason I... Uh, think that just buying it with the financing up front is yeah because it's got that equity because when we could sell it for that price no problem investors would be very interested in it but an appraiser right to do the burr strategy you got to convince an appraiser to change the valuation and in this case you don't really have to rehab anything right you don't have to do anything right you're not doing anything with the mechanicals there's really nothing you need to do so what's going to happen is the appraiser is going to weigh incredibly heavily on your purchase price so if you bought this thing at 60k on the open market and then you turned around two months later and tried to get it uh refinanced the appraiser's pretty much just going to look at what you paid ask if you did anything to it you didn't and then he's just going to appraise it for what you paid because that's what it sold in an arm's length transaction now in reality uh if it had a higher paying tenant we know the market would demand a much higher price right than 60k right and if you don't believe me well go ahead and try to buy a bunch of uh, a bunch of 1100 dollars rentals uh in a nice neighborhood like this in the cleveland market for 60k let me know how that goes for you right it's not gonna happen right you gotta pay more you gotta pay 75 but again the exit price is gonna be different uh than what the appraisal will, will look at it right because here's the other thing too you guys have to understand as investors you're looking at this right you're looking at this aaron as an investment vehicle you're looking at it almost like buying a stock when an appraiser's looking at it like per the appraiser's training and their licensing that's not exactly how you value this particular home right this was uh created as a home right for families to buy own and live in right so that's the caveat right i think this would work for you as like a slow motion burr but without actually doing the burr deal right you're really just buying it with some equity up front numbers are going to be crummy now while the rent is low but hopefully we could go ahead and just increase that rent like 50 bucks a month over time and then when you go to exit you're going to exit with a nice payday because it's going to be worth more than what you bought it now if you're feeling that aaron that's cool let's make an offer let's do the deal if not i got another option for you which i'm going to show you right now thanks for watching subscribe to holton wise tv for more financial information education and entertainment